we've looked at some previous problems in previous sessions where we evaluate. And evaluate just means that you're just going to put the, replace the variable with the number that's given. So now we're going to apply this again, but we're going to be doing that with specifically polynomials. So the idea is still the same here. Whatever variable you see there, we're going to replace it with four in this first question. Okay, so it means when you do four, and then we're going to, instead of the y, we're going to replace it because it says y equals four. Replace the y with a four. We have minus nine. The y gets replaced by four here. So we have squared, and then we have plus two. So all the y's got replaced by a four. So now we just need to evaluate this. So we need to get a numerical answer as a result here. So this is four. Four times four times four is going to be 64. So we just have that here, four times 64. And then this, we have nine. And then four squared is going to be 16. And then we have plus two. Notice there that I did the exponents first. And that's because uh, we have to follow the order of operations. So order of operations says that we have to do the exponents before we do anything else. Now we want to do the multiplications. So we'll do multiplications. Four times 64 is 256. And then this is going to be 144, nine times 16. And now we're just going to uh, combine this all together. 256 minus 144 plus two. This is going to equal 114. So 114 is going to be your answer. Okay, so these again will evaluate problems. They have numerical answers. Let's do another one of those. This time we're gonna put in a, a negative two for that. So we're gonna do nine times negative two cubed. We have minus, we have negative two is gonna go in there again, and then plus four. Be careful with your minus signs here. In this case, we have a negative number that's being raised to an odd power. That means we're gonna get a negative number as a result. So this, you're actually gonna get nine times negative eight here, because negative two times negative two times negative two will give you a negative eight. There's a minus here that's between these two, that's part of the original problem. Now this, negative two squared is gonna give you a four. Now, it, it is a positive four. The only reason why we have a minus here is because of the minus sign from above. So we got rid of one of the minus signs, the negative two being squared, that became a, a positive four, but we still have a positive four times a negative. So that's why it's negative four. And then you have plus four on the end there. This is nine times negative eight is negative 72 minus four plus four. Now the minus four and plus four, that's gonna add up to zero. So your final answer here is just gonna be negative 72 because everything else is gonna be zero. So again, evaluate just means that you wanna find a numerical answer, but you're still doing the same process, replacing the variable with whatever number they tell you.